Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to cover another dynamic array function in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to handle sort by in this video. I've already done, there are six dynamic array functions I've already covered in videos, filter, sort, and unique. So today is sort by. I'll put links to those other videos down below. These dynamic array functions are awesome. They're only for Office 365 users. So here is sort by. I have a list of employees and department in column A and B. I'm going to do a sort by. I'm going to highlight the range, comma, by array one. It's asking me, okay, which one of these columns do you want to sort by? I want to sort by department in this first example. And then the next question is going to be, okay, do you want to do it ascending or descending? one or negative one. I'm going to do a one. So that is it. It's a dynamic array function. I'm only in cell H4. When I press enter, I should get all the accounting people first, followed by HR, followed by training. Oh, and I got a blank space. There we go. So there is the sort by function. Notice if I go to cell H5 or H6, the formula bar up top is grayed out. So press and delete does absolutely nothing. If I want to get rid of this, I would delete cell H4, but I'm not going to delete it. I want to make sure I cover this. I did sort by. In this example, if you want to know what's the difference between sort by and sort, I'm going to do a sort function which I've already covered again. I'm going to highlight this range. I will get, by default, the sort function always does the very first column, which is column A, and it always does ascending. So looking at those names, I should get Amy first, and I should get William last. Let's see if that's true. And it is. So there's sort versus sort by, but here's one of the big differences. Back on sort by, I did a comma after the range. What do you want to sort by? I want to do the second column, comma, and then ascending or descending. So right now, it sure does look a lot like sort by. In fact, I'm going to get the exact same answers. Perfect. But here is why sort by, here's where it differs. Let me just move this out of the way for a second. So here comes sort by example again. I'm going to do sort by. I want to sort the employees names. But notice I didn't pick up department, comma. What order do you want to sort them? I want to sort them by department, but I'm not going to see the department. So with sort by, you can sort by a column that's not going to be visible. Comma, what order, ascending. I got just the names in that one. So here's one more example and probably a better one. I'm going to use this example two data that I have here. I'm going to get rid of what I just did. There's sort and sort by. So here we go. I've got three columns, employees, department, and salary. Sort by, comma, what do you want to sort by? I'm going to sort by the salary, which I will not see. And I'm going to sort by in descending order. I put in a negative one. So I should get two columns of data. I should get salary descending. So I should get Sue first. And the last person, it looks like $16, is Mary. There you go. Watch this. Let's test it. Mary is going to go to 60 bucks. She should become the first person, and she does. So whatever you change here, changes in the sort by. One more sort by, because I just did a sort by, but only sorted by salary. You can do a sort by multiple columns that aren't in the, in the range. Let's watch that. So, over here, let me add a little bit of room. 
I have four columns of data equals sort by because I don't want to see them all. I want to see the rep. I want to see the customer and I do want to see the state. I'm making this up for some reason. I don't care to see the revenue. I made this a table before I started. So I clicked inside of here and did control T and it now says table design up in the ribbon. So equals sort by. I'm going to highlight these three. This is what I want to see. Comma. Okay, sort order. I want to sort first by state. Comma. That is going to be ascending. And I'm going to see the state. Comma. What are you going to sort by next? It says by array two. Well, I want to do revenue, which I'm not viewing. Maybe I don't want people to see the revenue. Comma. And I want to see that in descending order, which was a negative one. Florida first, which is correct. So I sorted by state first, ascending. But then I got Sony. Sony's 194 compared to these other numbers. So this is all correct. So it doesn't matter how this looks over here. I'm going to sort this A to Z. This is always still correct. You can have this on another worksheet. You can even have this in another workbook or file. So I tested it and it worked. So that's a cool feature. One more nice little feature about this. If I come down here and add somebody because I made it a table and assume that this information right here that I just selected is on another workbook and it's on there for the executive committee. When I update my data, South Carolina, it updates in the sort by formula. So I don't have to go and keep sorting and telling them, hey, I've updated, it's right. It's always right. Next week, so that is sort by. Next week, I'm going to show you this. I mentioned to you that there is a filter function that I've already done. So next week, I'm going to show you how to combine the filter function with sort by. So in this example, I only wanted to filter by clients that were in Georgia, which you see over here. Let me shrink this down. Right here in this range, this is only GA. And then I'm going to show you with another filter sort by. I only wanted to see people over 180 in revenue. But again, I don't want to show the revenue. So I'm going to combine filter with sort by. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a list of all the videos I've done the past couple weeks, including that awesome, awesome X lookup feature that's new in Excel that is handling the makes V lookup look really weak. Anyway, thank you for your time. Have a great day.